The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Gun owners under fire again. A Democratic lawmaker here in New York State proposing legislation that would force any owner of a legal firearm to buy a $1 million insurance liability policy. Is the proposal taking aim at our wallets and our Second Amendment rights? Peter Johnson Jr. says... Good morning. Um, this is a ban on firearms Absolutely. by insurance, effectively outlawing for most Americans the ability to own a firearm. Looking to do it in New York State, looking to do it in California, other states around the coast, uh, mostly the East Coast, make it functionally impossible to own a firearm. How much would it cost under this guy's proposal? They're have estimates a million between fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars a year, just to protect themselves. So we will have in this country, if this thing passes in New York and other states, a means test for the exercise of a constitutional privilege. So turn a right into a privilege, and say um, firearms owners will now be a target for criminals mm -hmm. in this way. Will a criminal say, oh, he had a gun, um, even if I don't get his property, even if I don't assault him, if he assaults me with that firearm, then I will collect the million dollar yeah. lottery from this guy or gal who was trying to defend himself. This is an effort to deter the ownership sure. of firearms. To call it anything else is a joke. You know, if it were to pass and it won't, this year it's one million. It, five years, it's ten million, and then nobody has guns. Here's what the assemblyman Felix Ortez says: uh, This bill is designed to d encourage responsible ownership of firearms and to reduce accidental shootings. Additionally, the insurance policy will provide innocent victims of firearm incidents compensation for the medical care for their injuries and recoveries. Now, let me ask you this: You've got to have insurance to drive a car, right? Is that applicable here? No, driving a car uh, is a privilege. Right. It is not a constitutional. Right. Insurance companies will not be selling these policies, nor this, this, this prohibition, this indication of this policy that it will also cover intentional acts. There are no insurance policies in America right. today that cover intentional acts. Uh, there's a, a spectrum of harm on all sides causing harm to uh, uh, innocent victims of gun violence and to gun owners. It's bad for everyone. It increases violence and it deters the ability for lawful firearms owners to own those firearms. Imagine paying a sixth or a seventh of your income for insurance to own a firearm to protect yourself and your family with the shotgun that Vice President Biden was talking about incomprehensible it is incomprehensible because ultimately the insurance to protect ourselves is that shot and ultimately they will look to the federal government to do what the private insurers won't do and we'll be paying for that too we'll be paying to limit our own constitutional rights peter johnson jr thank you for bringing this to our attention you, Steve. it's outrageous if there's a blue pill and a red pill and the blue pill is half the price of the red pill and works just as well why not pay half price <laughs> Oh, my God.